Hello and welcome to Secrets of Organ Playing podcast. This is a show dedicated to helping you become a better organist. We're your hosts, Vidas Pinkavichus and Usham Motuzaita Pinkavichin. We have over 25 years of experience of playing the organ. And we've been teaching thousands of organists online from 89 countries since 2011. So now let's jump in and get started with the podcast for today. We hope you'll enjoy it. Hi guys, this is Vidas. And Usha. Let's start episode 605 of Secrets of Organ Playing podcast. This question was sent by Klaus. And he writes, Hi Vidas, there are answers to your questions. Um, my dream for playing organ is to play in church services and in the concerts. I have played in church services sometimes. Um, my three most important things that are holding me back from realizing my dream is one, equipment. If I want to learn organ playing, I need to go to my church where is pipe organ with two pedals and and two manuals. A quiet space where I can uh, learn things. And three, knowledge of playing technique because I don't have an organ teacher yet. Clubs. So clubs, uh, I'm not sure where he is from, but the word, the name looks Latvian, right? Seems like that, but it could be anywhere, actually. Mm -hmm. I'm not an expert on na on names. If he is from Latvia, uh, then he is our neighbor, next door neighbor. Wonderful. Um, so, Klaus wants to play the organ in church services and in concerts. Which is pretty, pretty... Um, versatile way of looking at organ training, right, Osha? Yes, and probably this is the most often heard wish as from my read in our, you know, listeners' letters. Um, talking about his equipment, he doesn't have an organ at home and he has to go to church. Right, and the organ there is an organ with with two manuals and pedal, which is not bad. Yes, it is, and if he can access that instrument whenever he wants, it just means that he has to go to church to practice every day. Yes, that's what we did um, in our earlier days um, when we were students and working at churches. We would practice it at, uh, at the church too, besides practicing, of course, at the music academy. True. But, well, if you want to become a good organist, you always need to, to sacrifice something. For example? Well, for example, night sleep. Remember as we were students at the Academy of Music, what good times we would get to practice like at 6 a.m.? Six? Yes. Not seven, you mean? Well, yes. There was one year when we practiced from 6 a.m. Oh. When the academy would open at 6 a.m., we would start practicing at 6 a.m. And it would close us at um, uh, 11 p.m. And we would practice until then, too. And sometimes you would practice, you know, in, in the evening until 11 p.m. And you would start practicing next day at 6 a.m. Such a life of being organist. Mm. When there are only f five practice organs in that academy and let's say 20 students, right? And then also professors, uh, four or five. So, so yeah, yeah, we had to uh, sacrifice some, some sleep for, at least for a while. Um, but uh, I don't think that Klaus needs to go to, to his church at 6 a.m. in the morning. That's who well, he does not. But you know, if he doesn't like to go to church to practice every day, then he needs to acquire instruments of his own, on his own. Yeah, and there are many choices, right? 
uh, he can buy second hand organ uh, used organ he can he can order a new one uh, both electronic or pipe organ he can he can set up hauptwerk in his home home hauptwerk probably would be the most affordable because you can fit your needs from the most expensive setup and most um, real situation like organs uh, resembling uh, pipe organs pretty well uh, in layout and and feeling to the most affordable ways uh, of playing just MIDI keyboard and a simple pedal digital pedal board uh, which which could be fit into any room yes and he mentions also that he needs quiet place where he can learn that might be a problem because you know if you are practicing at church basically you might not be alone at any time uh, which actually shouldn't bother you because that's a life of an organist but if you would get like uh, midi keyboards let's say at home, then you could practice with your headphones. Yes, like we do sometimes. And that way you would be really, you know, alone. And you make your own quiet place by headphones. And neither you bother others, no others would bother you. Yeah, those um, noise-canceling headphones reproduce... Uh, sounds pretty well, but also they block outside noise as well pretty well. So, so it's like win-win situation. True, and about you know knowledge of playing technique, because he doesn't have an organ teacher yet. Well, there are two possibilities, you know, either to get an organ teacher or you know to teach yourself or you know look for online sources. Like, for example, we have taught already quite a few organists know how to play the organ and help them to learn. We've been doing this for 10 years, right, Osha? Yes. Uh, maybe less uh, since 2011, so nine years now. Well, yes, because nowadays there is so much sources and so much information available as it wasn't before. Yes, just keep in mind that this is podcast number 605. So... Over 600 uh, teaching material publicly available for free is uh, on our website organduo.lt plus if you want to go deeper into training uh, and learn faster than on your own you, you could join our total organist uh, pro program together with our other students you would have be you would be part of that very intense community which support each other on base camp and and uh, have accountability and really grow much faster. Yes, because I think it's much easier to do it when you are not on your own. When you have people around yourself who will support you and help you. Yeah, we have weekly organ contest and people have been submitting videos there. Imagine that you have a weekly goal to prepare one piece, upload to YouTube, and then submit to our contest. And this goal becomes your your learning foundation, right, Osha? Yes, it really helps. And pretty soon you will learn enough pieces to play in a short recital. Like if if you learn for starters just one piece per per week of let's say two minutes long, couple of pages, right? So, for a short recital, you would need probably 20 minutes long, 20 pages. So, maybe after 10 weeks, you would have enough material to play this short recital, either from your home online it, uh, or in your church. Yes, and I think, you know, if you really want to learn, you will always find a solution. Yes, and we're here to help you grow. Right, Osha? Yes. So please send us more of your questions. And remember, when you practice, miracles happen. This podcast is supported by Total Organist, the most comprehensive organ training program online. It has hundreds of courses, coaching, 
and practice materials for every area of organ playing. Thousands of instructional videos and PDFs. You will not find more value anywhere else online. Total Organist helps you to master any piece, perfect your technique, develop your sight reading skills, and improvise or compose your own music and much, much more. Sign up and begin your training today at organduo.lt and click on Total Organist. And of course, you will get the first month free too. You can cancel anytime. If you like our organ music, you can also support us on Patreon and get free CDs. Find out more at patreon.com slash secrets of organ playing.